For problem number 3, find the equation of the circle whose center is at the origin and which passes through the point 2, 1. In this problem, the radius is also not given and there's no diameter. However, there's a given point, 2, 1. If we plot this point together with the center, which is at the origin, on the Cartesian plane, and connect these points, we will have a radius. The radius is the length of the line segment joining 0, 0 and 2, 1. So we can now solve for the value of r using the distance formula, which is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Let the point 0, 0 be the first point. We have x sub 1 and y sub 1 and the point 2, 1 be the second point. We have x sub 2 and y sub 2. Then, substitute these values to the equation. So we have r equals the square root of x sub 2, which is 2, minus x sub 1, which is 0, raised to 2, plus y sub 2, which is 1, minus y sub 1, which is 0, raised to 2. Then simplify. 2 minus 0 is 2, raised to 2 is 4, plus 1 minus 0 is 1, raised to 2 is also 1. So the square root of 4 plus 1 is equal to square root of 5. And we now have the value of r. We can now find the equation of the circle in standard form. Since the center is at the origin, we use the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Replace r with square root of 5. So square root of 5 raised to 2 is 5. We can just cross out the radical symbol. And there we have it. The standard equation of a circle whose center is at the origin, which passes through the point 2, 1, is x squared plus y squared equals 5. To sketch the graph, since our r is equal to square root of 5, and square root of 5 is equal to 2.23606977, we can approximate the value up to two decimal places. So we will have 2.24. The same process, we start at the center and count 2.24 units to the right, 2.24 units upward, 2.24 units left, and 2.24 units downward. And this is now the graph of the circle with r equals square root of 5. For number 4, the small circle is tangent internally at negative 2, 0 to a big circle. Find, letter A, the equation of each circle. Letter B, the area of each circle. Letter C, the area of the shaded region. By inspection, the small circle is centered at the origin with radius 2 units, while the big circle is centered at 2, 0 with radius 4. Since we already identified the center and the radius of each circle, we can now find the equation of each circle in standard form. For the equation of a small circle, since the center is at the origin, we use the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We replace r with 2, then simplify. x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. Therefore, the equation of small circle is equal to x squared plus y squared equals 4. On the other hand, the equation of a big circle, since the center is not on the origin, we use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where our h is equal to 2 and our k equals 0, with r equals 4. Thus, we have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 4 squared. Simplify x minus 2 squared 
plus y minus 0 is y raised to 2 equals 4 squared, which is 16. And that's the equation of the big circle in standard form. For letter B, find the area of each circle. Remember that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Since we already have the value of r for each circle, we just need to replace r for small circle with the value of 2 and for the big circle, value of 4. Therefore, the area of a small circle is equal to pi times 2 squared, which is equal to 4 pi square units. Well, the area of a big circle is equal to pi times 4 squared equals 16 pi square units. And those are the area of each circle. For letter C, to find the area of the shaded portion, we need to use the formula area of the shaded region equals the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. Since the area of the big circle is 16 pi and the area of the small circle is 4 pi, we just simply do the subtraction. So 16 pi minus 4 pi is equal to 12 pi square units. What if the equation is already given and you are now to find the center and the radius of the given equation? Example, find the center and the radius of the given circle. Number 1, x squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 36. Remember, this equation is centered not on the origin, but at some point h, k. The value of h can be found with the x variable and k with the y variable. So for this equation, the center is at 0, negative 2 because there's nothing inside the x variable, so it's 0. And in the y variable, we have plus 2. If we're going to equate it by 0, the sign will change from positive 2 to negative 2. That is why the center is at 0, negative 2, and the radius is 6. We're going to take the square root of 36, which is equal to 6. Remember, this is not the value of r, but r squared. So we still need to take the square root of that number to find the radius. So the center for number 1 is at 0, negative 2 with radius equals 6. For number 2, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This kind of equation is centered at the origin and the radius is equal to 1 because square root of 1 is just 1. For number 3, the center is not located on the origin but at negative 4 and positive 3. Just remember that if it's positive inside the equation, it will become negative. Similarly, if it's negative inside, it will become positive. So from positive 4 to negative 4 and negative 3 to positive 3. And the radius, take the square root of 16 and that is 4. And for number 4, we first need to eliminate 9 in the denominator by multiplying both sides by 9. So 9 will be cancelled out. Thus, we have, we copy the numerators, y minus 2 squared plus x plus 1 half squared equals multiply 9 by 1. 9 times 1 is 9. And from this, we can now identify the center and the radius. Obviously, the center is not on the origin, but at negative 1 half and positive 2. You might be tempted to say that the center is at 2 and negative 1 half. But remember, the value of h comes first before k, and that value can be found in the x variable and the value of k in the y variable. That is why the center is at negative one half and positive two, while the radius is three. Square root of nine is equal to three. 
So that's how you identify the center and the radius given the equation. The nice thing about circle in standard form is that at a glance, you can easily determine its center and radius. So here are the things you need to remember. A circle is a set of all points on a plane which are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. The constant distance between the center and any point in the circle is called the radius of the circle. The standard equation of the circle, centered at the origin, is given by x squared plus y squared equals r squared. But if the center is not on the origin but at h and k, the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And that's the circle in standard equation.